Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do the best of beauty of my makeup products that I've been using this year for 2023. Um, whether it's new or old, I'm still showing them love. So we'll go ahead and get started and I'll go ahead and show you the products. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I use in the order that I would do my face. So we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow primer. So I'm using the Catrice eyeshadow primer. So that's that. This is what I use to prime my lids. And if I'm not using that one, then I do use the Milani eyeshadow primer. So that one's that one right there. And then, let's see, we're gonna do eyeshadow. Um, so I do use the Big Ego palette. This one's by Tarte. This was one of my favorite palettes that I was able to use. And I got that for, you know, I got that with my own money. So there's that one. Some really pretty colors in here. I recommend this palette. We also have the Violet Voss Sweet Violet palette. This is some real pretty colors here. I recommend this palette as well. I believe I did get this one in a BoxyCharm. But this is a really good palette. Another palette that is really good that I used a lot this year is going to be the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette. Um, this one is in Aikai, Aikaiu, I'm not for sure how you pronounce it, but this is a really good palette. I really like the blues in there. And then here's another palette, which this one is the Cream and Sugar Palette by e.l.f., another Bite Size Palette. There's that right there. It has some real pretty colors as well. And then for mascara, so I'm I'm loving this, hands down, the Essence Slash Princess Mascara. This is my all-time favorite. This is a holy grail. Um, each video that I do, I'm pretty much using this. If I'm not using this one, then I will be using the Essence Double Triple Mascara. That's this one right here. Um, this one's really good, so. Okay, so as far as eyeliner goes, I am using the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. Um, this is really good here. So this is a really good um, eyeliner. I've been actually using this to create my wings. So I've been using a liquid eyeliner. So there's that one. And then hands down the LA Girl Very Black Gel Liner. Um, this one's good here as well. Um, this one, you can tell I've been using it a lot. You know, it's getting smaller and smaller, but I do have backup of that. Um, this brow pencil, I got this in my BoxyCharm. I really love it. So I do use this on my eyebrows. Usually I don't do my eyebrows, but hey, I've been using this. I really like it. This is the uh, Wonder Beauty Upgraded Bow, Upgraded Brows Pencil and Gel Duo. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. Um, so I really like this pencil. Again, it's Wonder Beauty. So that's another reason why I like BoxyCharm because you have, you know, you can sample new makeup. So I really like it. And another eyeshadow palette that I forgot to mention is the Cobb Cosmetics. I don't know if it's Cobb or if it's Cab um, Cosmetics. This is one of the um, eyeshadow palettes that I use. I really like using this. This is a really nice palette as well. As you can see, I have hit pan in some of the colors here. So this is a really good palette also. And then we'll go ahead and start with the face as in um, prepping the face. Um, so my favorite uh, primer sprays is the NYX Bear With Me Primer Spray. So this is a good one here. I really like this one. And then I also use the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro, Micro Fine Setting Mist. This one is a real good one as well. Um, as you can see, I've, I'm over halfway on these bottles, so they're really good to set before and after. As far as priming the face, um, I do use the Catrice Poreless Blur Primer. Um, this is a really good primer, so if you have like larger pores or anything like that, or if you have combo skin, this is a really good primer to use before putting on your makeup. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the foundation. I am in a mix of a couple shades and foundation. Um, of course, it's winter here, so you know your shades fluctuate. Um, but currently, what I'm currently using right now is the Maybelline New York um, up to 30 hour wear. Um, so I do have two shades. 
I have golden caramel and then I have toffee caramel. So these are the two colors that I'm currently using right now. These are really good. Nice full coverage. Um, another, um, another favorite of mine that I've been using, that I've been, you know, in rotation with, um, this is the Revolution Makeup Conceal and Define um, Foundation. I'm in shade F12. Um, so this is really nice as well. And bear with me if my hands are shaking. I did have some coffee earlier, so. And as far as concealer goes, um, I have a few of those as well. So I have three of them. So I have the Dose of Colors Concealer. This one is in dark. So that's that one there. And then I have another one which was dark. And this one was in the shade, yeah, it's dark. It's Dose of Colors as well. That's this one here. And then I've been using the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this one is in Tan Walnut. So this is a really good one as well. This is the one I'm using the most right now. Um, it's really good. And it's full coverage. Um, what else? I also have um, the Kat Von D. Uh, this is a pressed powder. This one is in the shade Tan Deep. So I've been using that as well. I do like this as a pressed powder on your face. It's medium to full coverage. You can build it up. It's a really nice powder as well. Here. Setting powders, I have a couple of those. I'm currently using the CoverGirl Clean Invisible um, Translucent Light Powder. I just use this to set my face. Um, so I use this. And I've also been using the Maybelline Fit Me in Medium Deep. So I've been using this one as well. I do alternate between the two of these. Um, this is after you put on your foundation and you put your concealer on. Go in with your little press powder, well, your setting powders, translucent powders. Put them on, blend them in, and then that's when you use your setting spray, of course. And then after that, bronzer, blush, and highlight. Um, actually, I forgot to mention this one. I got this off Timo, uh, this one here. Um, this is their translucent setting powder. It's in honey. It's awful light to be honey, but I like it. I've been using this a lot as well. Um, so that's another one. As far as bronzer goes, I've been using the Physician Formula. Um, this one is in Endless Summer. So I really like this color here. It's a little bit darker, um, but it shows up really well on my skin tone. So I like this color. I was using a lighter one of these here, but I noticed that it wasn't really showing up. So I switched it to a darker color. And I've also been using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. And it doesn't say what shade this is in, but yeah, this is the Wet n Wild Palette Contour Palette. I was using that as well. Some really nice colors in here. I'm like all out of order on my video. I said I was going to be in order, but I'm not. And I meant to mention that I've been using the lashes, I Envy Lashes, so wispy. Um, so these are what I've been using too. I have a few sets, but I've been using this and I've been using my Kiss number 11s and those are really good also. Um, as far as blush goes, uh, we do have the LA Girl Island Hottie Palette. I've been loving this. So these are the colors here. I just mix all of those here and then just put them on and it blends in like a chain. Another blush that I've been using is the Believe Beauty. Um, this one is in Amore. Um, so they do have some real pretty palette colors here. So there's that. And then highlighters, I do have a few of those. Um, so I do have this one. This one's from Timu. It's called Everything Wins. I believe this is the Apricot palette. But yeah, these are the highlighters here. So those are really pretty. And then Milani, of course, Milani. Um, this one is in Luminoso. And that is the color here. It's a real pretty color. And it has like a highlight to it as well. It's a real pretty color. Another highlight that I have is Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I'm trying to see which one this one is. It doesn't say, but 
Um, these are the colors here. These are some real pretty colors. I love using this palette. It's really pigmented and really has a lot of shine to it. So it's a really good palette. And I've been using the, I got this in my BoxyCharm. I've been using the Ciate London um, Under Eye Brightener. Um, this one is in medium. So it's a real pretty color. If you have like dark circles, it lightens it up. So it's really nice. And then as far as pressed powder goes, um, I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me. This one is in Golden Caramel. Um, so I've been using this to set my face after I put my uh, setting powders on. I've been using my pressed powder. So this is that. And I've been using the CoverGirl pressed powder as well. The Simply Ageless uh, pressed powder. And this one is in Soft Honey. So I've been using this one as well. And then um, as far as eyelashes, I did show you some of the eyelashes that I used earlier, um, but I've been using the Kiss uh, Lash Strip here. This is really good for your eyelashes. So they'll make your eyelashes stick. And then as far as lipsticks, I'm still using the Milani Teddy Bear. So this is a real pretty color. I love this color here. I've been using that. That's actually what I have on right now. And I like the e.l.f. lip stain, which is in Basic Beige. And that's the color of that one as well. It's not as dark as it looks on the wand, but this is a real pretty color as well. And then as far as lip liners, I'm still trying to get used to that. Um, so I have been using a couple colors. Um, I have the Milani um, Cafe Olay. So that one's in 160. Cafe Olay, so I've been using that one. So let me show you the color. So that's the color there. And then I've been using the Kiss Professional Dark Brown Lip Liner. I have that on with that lipstick as well from Milani. And this is the color of that one. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the color of that one. So those are my 2023 products that I've been using. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There will be more content loading. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I hope everyone has a happy new year. And as always, stay blessed.